Audi's first start here was last night. Finished in the top 10 in eighth place. And looking to qualify well here today. In that first time around is a dead lap, a warm up lap. And this will be his first time lap. We'll see where he clocks in. 18.495 for Brody Monahan. 18.495 for the youngster out of Connecticut. And if you have race monitor on your phone, you can follow along with live timing and scoring, or you can watch the scoreboard. Slight pickup on lap two, and 18.422. 18.422 for Brody Monahan. Second qualifier out of Hayburn, Idaho, will be Ryan Phipps in the Western Mountains Incorporated machine. A rough night for this newcomer to the World Series last night. Went up and over the Mike Mayberry number 45. Unfortunately, Mike and team still working. They've got a convertible down there in the pit area right now. Ryan Phipps, our next qualifier here, 25th in the results last night. He's looking to improve upon that, keep things clean here this evening. Was involved in the most spectacular incident of the night last night. 19.088 second fastest. Phipps on his second lap here, looking to improve his time. Ryan Phipps, a 19 flat, 19 000. We'll leave him second on the board. And next out to qualify will be yesterday evening's winner, Junior Renfrew Jr. in car double zero out of Candy in New Hampshire. Picked up that first career World Series win here last night in spectacular fashion. A heck of a battle with George Phillips and the 29 of Hunter Wright. Jimmy Renfro out of New Hampshire, the RR race parts, Renfrew Motorsports, with some help from Donnie Wilson. Motorsports as well. Get that car up to speed. In that first career win, he said it was one of the most special moments he's ever had in racing here last night. And that's just how much the World Series means to these drivers that are here. So we'll see what Jimmy Renfrew can do early on in this qualifying session. The track going to change here as much the front straightaway is in shape. An 18.592 there for Jimmy Renfrew. Going to keep him second. We'll see if he can pick up on lap number two. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. in the double zero, coming down to the checkered flag. And he slows down there on lap number two, an 18.613. Don't think he's going to be too happy with second place. Early. Tim Laurent, our next qualifier here in car number 33 out of Scottsboro, Alabama. In the Williams Racing Machine, 24th here last night. Got caught up in an incident on track with a 15 of Christian Rose as some of those cars were fighting through traffic. They did have some machine, they put it together, and you'd never know if I didn't tell you. It's a good work for the team as they look to improve on their finish from yesterday evening. Tim was out here for the red eye and then ran last night. So this will be his third race in a week. White flag, first time lap here for the 33, a 19.294. That is fourth quick for Tim Laurent. We have close to 30 Pro A models signed in here today. Might have lost one or two from last night, but still a very good field of cars. And a 19.241 for Tim Laurent, and that'll keep him fourth on the board. So we hope you will stick around this evening. We know the NASCAR Women Modified Tour, the main event, but we have some great racing action with the regular World Series here on night number two that you are not going to want to miss. You paid a pretty penny to get in today. You might as well take it all in. Next out to qualify will be car number 26 for Dawson Sutton out of Lebanon, Tennessee in the Rackley Roofing Willie Allen Racing Machine. Fourth place out here last night. Team has speed and they look to be one of the contenders here during the World Series. Car number 26, Dawson Sutton. Right in the top five finish here last night. Driver ran the full World Series here last year and has greatly improved over the past year. So here comes Dawson Sutton down to the right flag. And an 
17.531 for Dawson Sutton. That'll move him second on the board there on lap number one. He's on his flyer. We'll see if he picks up here on lap number two. Dawson Sutton going to run both the Super and Pro Late model here throughout the entire World Series. They're going to win two championships this year. The flag is out. And an 18.512 will leave Dawson Sutton in the second position. Sportsman drivers, to your cars. We're going to move your cars, please. Sportsman drivers, to your cars. We're going to move you to a different area. Sportsman drivers, to your cars, please. The next out to qualify here, taking the green flag, a driver out of Brazil. This is Diago Moscato, the NASCAR Brazil. Max Kai's McDonald Development Machine. 12th place finish, very respectable run in his debut. Again, sportsman drivers, to your cars, please. First lap for Diago Moscato, a fourth place, 18.830, 18.830. The driver out of Brazil, sharp looking race car here for the Max Kais Development Stables. Checkered flag set for fly. Diago Moscato clocks in, picks up on lap number two, and will stay fourth with an 18.766, 18.766. Next out to qualify out of Covington, Georgia. This will be Dustin Bryson in the Terminal Maintenance and Construction Atlanta Paving and Concrete Machine. Made his debut out here last night. Scored a ninth place finish. So a good run for this driver in the Sharp number 47 machine coming down with a green flag. Seven driver to take time. 28 cars signed in here tonight. A couple of them are not going to qualify and will tag the rear of the field for the feature. 47 machine, Dustin Bryson comes by. And the scoreboard an 18.789. That'll put him fifth on the board. Dustin Bryson, fifth on lap number one. Looking to pick up here on lap number two. Checkered flag set to fly for this light blue number 47. The checkers. Consistent lap there, 18.764. And that'll move him to the fourth position on the scoreboard. Fourth place. Next out to qualify, we have R.J. Braun out of Wales, Wisconsin in the Jet Concrete Slinger Speedway Special. Team out of the Jet Motorsports Stables. They've got quite a few cars that'll be running here throughout the week. 11th for R.J. here last night. So just on the edge of the top 10. I imagine this Two looking to improve on last night's 11th place finish. And we'll see what he can do is he'll get the white flag this time by. And he'll clock in at an 18.708. Fourth quick for RJ Braun on lap number one. Another driver out of Wisconsin. And plenty out of the Wisconsin area. Slinger Speedway on the hood. Definitely a really awesome racetrack if you haven't checked that one out before. Checkered flag is out. Pick up. Good lap there, an 18.652. He'll stay fourth, but gives him a little more cushion to maybe stay in the invert for tonight. Katie Hettinger, our next qualifier here in Carnival 71. This is the Wheeler Trucking sponsored ride. Katie Hettinger became the first female driver to score a World Series win, one of the four major divisions out here. And that was, of course, last season. Seventh place here last night. We expect her to be up in the mix here throughout the week. Now on the clock. We'll see what Katie Hettinger can do here. Driver out of Huntersville, North Carolina. Again, seventh place here last night. Scoring her fifth career World Series top 10 finish. For Katie Hettinger, an 18.882 for Hettinger. That's seventh fastest, not quite what they're looking for, but they've got this second lap here to pick up. The track doesn't seem to have much pickup in it so far today, but I imagine the Conditions are going to change a little bit here throughout the night. Different rubber on the track today. Modifieds out here. A little pick up there for Katie. An 18.748. She'll bump up into the top five. Fifth quickest for Katie Hettinger so far. Nine cars have timed in. About a third of the way through this qualifying session here. And Chuck Tuck in car number 
car number, I almost said truck. Car number 17 here for Chuck Tuck. Tough night here for Chuck Tuck here, one of the first cars out of the race here last night. He's got Tuck's Bar and Cumberland Rubber Supply on board. 29th place finish here for the veteran racer last night. So he'll be making his 22nd career World Series start as he returns to World Series competition. Chuck Tuck, new look to his late model here. An all-white scheme on the 17 this year instead of the typical yellow and blue that we've seen throughout the years. Not a fun last night, a little bit loose there. He's got a handful of race cars. Let's see if that in here on the stopwatch. 19.397, so that bobble definitely did cost Chuck a little bit of time. Again, we do take the fastest of the two laps, that first lap. As you notice, is a get-up-to-speed lap. It does not count. Chuck definitely struggling with the handle on car number 17, way off the throttle there. Check the flag is out for Chuck Tuck. A 19.452, so he does actually slow down. Next out to qualify will be Anthony Bello in car number 25, a driver very familiar to the modifieds that we'll see out here in a little while. Anthony's scheduled to run the full modified World Series as well. We're going to do some pro late model racing in the meantime. 14th out here last night in his debut. Machines got GT overhead door, foothills flooring and tile, and Ackerman concrete on board here as sponsors this week. So Anthony Bello, the open wheel standout, put the fenders on and looking to duel with the best. Races an 18.881 there on lap number one. Bello is going to be eighth quick, eighth fastest on lap number one. See if he can pick up here on lap number two. Has been some slight pickup for most of the drivers here on that second lap. We'll see if that trend continues for Anthony Bell. Flag is out. A little pickup there, 18.782, and that'll keep him eighth on the board. Another one of the Jet Motorsports machines out on the speedway. This is the PD Wisconsin's Billy Braun. Billy Braun, 15th out here in his World Series debut, according to our records last night. So a solid 15th mid-pack finish for the 31. Kept his nose clean and will look for better results here tonight. So here comes... And we've qualified now 11 machines. And the time to beat is pretty on hands. 18.422. Brody, the first car out, still sitting the Braun is an 18.934, ninth fastest for the 31 machine. So we will see if he can pick up here on lap number two. As you can see, the two drivers beginning to stage on. And an 18883 for Billy Braun will keep him ninth on the scoreboard here thus far. Next out to qualify is going to be car number 29. Where a driver made his debut out here last night. This is Tommy Sorum in car number 29, and he's gone around there off to number four. A little slick out there for Tommy. Luckily, he didn't hit anything. He just wanted to give us more time to read off his sponsors here. He's got Sorum Livestock Calling on board. He's got Dan Fredrickson Signs. And a few other, and he's going to do the smart thing here and kind of drive it back around. Try to get some more space here and try to get back up to speed. So his, his dead lap for sure is going to be a dead one. Also got Brothers Jorgensen racing. And I'm trying to read his writing, but get some help here from the Fredericksons. And in his debut here last night, he was able to get a 17th, a respectable 17th place finish after the team found the wall in practice. So they had to work hard just to get him on the grid last night, and he found how to spin out. The green flag is out. Of course, that first lap, the dead lap, throwaway lap, I'd imagine this one kind of going to be a throwaway lap. He's going to try to get it all on lap number two. The white flag will come out. This time we'll get the first lap. 19.244. Tommy Sorum's going to be 12th on the board. 19.244 there on lap one for Tommy. 
And we'll look for more here on this second lap. Checkered flag. It's an 18.817. And that's a nice pickup for Tommy. He'll jump up to ninth fastest into the top 10 now. As Isabella Robusto in cut number 28 hits the speedway now. Isabella Robusto out of Fort Mill, South Carolina in the Yahoo sponsored ride. Out of the Donnie Wilson Motorsports stables. A solid sixth place finish for Isabella in her second World Series attempt last night. Two top tens. I believe this is a young lady we're going to keep our eyes on here this weekend. She's had some tough luck out here during the red eye the last two years. Has not completed a lap in that event. But both times she's been on track for the World Series. She's done very well with two top tens. So her second start of the week. Let's see where she's going to qualify. First lap is complete. An 18.549 for Isabella Robusto. Third fastest. What a lap there for Isabella. We'll see if she can pick up here on lap two. Brody Monahan, the fastest. 18.422, the time to beat. She's going to pick up about a tenth here. Isabella Robusto in the Yahoo machine coming down to the checkers. And 18.456, second fastest for Isabella. Missed it by just a skosh. Now three one hundredths of a second off there for Isabella. But second place, a very respectable qualifying lap for that young lady. On to our next qualifier here out of Woodstock, Georgia. This is Brandon Lopez. Brandon Lopez struggled out here last night, finished 28th, had a uh, gremlin that took that car out of competition. So Brandon Lopez in the Terminal Maintenance and Construction Atlanta Paving and Concrete Ride. See what he can do here on lap one. His team calls already qualified today. And a 19.130. Brandon Lopez, 13th on the board. His teammate, Dustin Bryson, 7th. So a little bit of distance between these two team cars that they'll try to work on here throughout the week. Checkered flag, ready to fly. Six, Brandon Lopez, an 18.951. Lopez going to jump up to 12th with that qualifying lap. Corey Luciano in car number 94 going to be our next qualifier. Corey out of Beaverton, Ontario, Canada. Yes. Incorporated sponsored machine. 16th out of here last night, one of his best finishes. Ran the full World Series here a year ago. And a 16th place run last night, keeping things clean. So we'll see what driver number 94, Corey Luciano, can do here in his qualifying run. Now again, if you're just getting in here tonight, working through our pro-late model qualifying, getting towards the end of it. And then we have sportsman qualifying for the World Series coming up for their 50 lapper. And then the NASCAR wheel and modified tour will be up after that. Clocked in at 18.857. 11th fastest for Corey on lap number one. We will see if he can pick up here on lap number two. Checkered flag is set to fly. Luciano in 18.872, consistent laps. But his second lap actually quicker, so he'll Tony Bridinger in the Leaf Falk Racing number one machine will be our next qualifier. Tony's had a couple of good runs out here. Fifth in the red eye and 13th out here last night. He's definitely made some improvements from her efforts last year. The Shore Rezon spot, Resort and Spa. Uh, Tony Bridinger making her 13th Pro Late Model start out here during the World Series. She'll run the truck race in Daytona a week from tonight. Lee Falk Racing, no stranger to the speedway. They've had great success with a plethora of different drivers. And Tony has shown signs of improvement here early this season. An 18.676 for the one of Tony Breidner. And that's a good first lap. That's sixth quickest. Sixth quickest for Tony Breidner. If she can jump up in the top five, make her, make her number go up on the street. 18.682. She'll stay sixth on the board as she slows down just a tick there on lap number two. Christian Rose in car number 15. Another driver that found a tough luck out here last night. Christian out of Martinsburg, West Virginia, making his second full attempt at the World Series. 22nd place last night. Got caught up in an incident. 
in turns three and four, right about where he is now. The last couple of years, takes the green flag. He is driving for Race Car Solutions with Alpha Prime sponsorship and the West Virginia Department of Tourism. We're riding along on the car here for the week. Of course, driver hails from West Virginia, so backing from his home for safety. An 18.900. Christian Rose clocking in a disappointing 14th there on lap number one. This race car solutions team, they've been so quick out here with Jamie Skinner behind the wheel and some others. Used to be championship contenders, and I think they'll get things figured out here. And he slows down on lap number two, so Rose will qualify 14th. And we'll definitely look for more come feature time. He said he put himself in a bit of a hole with qualifying yesterday and going to be back. Ryan Luza in car 08 will be our next qualifier. Fifth place finish out here last night, carrying the banner for Jet Motorsports. Cook Electrical on board as well. Second place in the World Series point standings out here a year ago with two victories. Just kind of got stuck back in some of the fast traffic last night. Couldn't really go anywhere. And Ryan Luza, flying Ryan Luza on the clock. And everybody's still chasing young Brody Monahan, who's on top of the board. First car out, clocked in at 18.422. Ryan Lewis at 18.481. Third quick there on lap number one. Keep your eye on flying Ryan. As he goes down the back straight away, trying to pick up here. So at 18.481, only about six one hundreds off of the pole. Let's see if he can get there. With a solid racetrack, 18.447, second fastest for Ryan Luza. So a slight pickup there for Ryan. Ryan Luza jumps up to second on the board as Chad Butts will be our next qualifier. In car number eight, as he stalled that machine coming off the pit road, but he's got it fired back up. Chad Butts with his career best run out here a night ago out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, the Glenn Styers Racing. A weekend Speedway is sponsored to ride. Finished 10th here last night. Got his first career World Series top 10, and he's got an issue. That is not the way you want to hear a race car come down the front straightaway. So 10th here last night, just as it appeared things were going in the right direction for this driver out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Things have taken a sour turn. Good news is if you're gonna have issues, try to have it, well first try to have it during practice. And at least if it happens during qualifying, you've got time to get it fixed before the main event, which will be later on this evening. And he's gonna come to a stop there on the back straightaway. Chad Butts with trouble, we'll go rescue him and continue on with this qualifying session. That was our 20th driver to take time. He will clock in 20th quick. We'll give him an attempt at least, and he'll start at least in front of the ones that choose not to qualify tonight. Big story to tell you about while we have a moment. One of the earlier championship contenders that we all had our eye on throughout this World Series is George Phillips in car number 55, the Ross and Whitmer warehousing machine for Fathead Racing. Came out here, finished second last night. Looked to be in position to maybe pick up his first career World Series win. Had a practice incident and damaged that ride pretty good. And I don't believe they're gonna be able to continue here tonight. As a matter of fact, that team may have already loaded up and headed to the house. So one of the early championship favorites, perhaps out of it already. Kitchens got to speak with him earlier this week and just want to give him a big shout out and appreciate what he does for the racing community. Really, really nice guy. His, uh, his talk made my World Series and hopefully John Bowen gets some good runs. His team deserves it. Point an 18.947, 16th fastest for John Bowen. Not quite what he was looking for. We'll see if John can pick up any speed here on lap number two as the checkered flag is ready to fly. And we do take the fastest of the two laps. John Bowen and 18.993. John's going to remain 16th, not quite what they were hoping for. Race Car Solutions Stable going to be the next driver on the speedway. Teammate to Christian Rose. This is the Thomas Carson machine. 
Costamari Incorporated sponsor ride. 23rd here last night. flag here. He'll get the white flag. We'll see what his first lap is going to be. Corsanas ready to clock in here. A 19.141. Again, if you're in the 19th second bracket, you have work to do. 19th quick for Thomas. Driver looking for more here on lap number two. Checkered flag set to fly. We'll see the start. 29, a slight pickup. Croissant is going to remain in the 19th position. Nicholas Noggle in the 08 machine is scheduled to make his first start of this year's World Series. Had a great run in the Super Late, battled for the win last night, and will now take the Brycon sponsored machine out on the speedway for the first time in Pro Late model competition. Did not race last night. Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Good representation from Canada here, as this truly is a World Series. We have drivers from all over the place here. Brazil in the house, Canada in the house, of course the United States. And an 18663 there for the 08 machine to Nicholas Noggle. That is seventh fastest. And there's two eight two oh eights in the field. Black 08 Nicholas Naga Noggle. Red 08 Ryan Luzon. So Nicholas Noggle, little sideways through the corner on the shade of the front straight. And an 18688. You can see there's not a lot of pickup in the speedway right now. He'll remain seventh on the board. Next out to qualify will be called maybe last night. He's gonna score that first World Series win. This is Hunter Wright out of Lebanon, Tennessee. And the day racing enterprises, Pinnacle Construction, 31W insulation machine, third place. Who's up on the podium here last night was our fast qualifier. So this is a driver we're definitely going to want to keep our eyes on. Hunter Wright on the clock here. Brody Monahan, the first car out, clocked in at 18.422, has remained atop the scoreboard the entire qualifying session. Hunter Wright was the last car out last night. Went to the pole. Let's see what happens here tonight. And flag is out at 18.450. For car number 29, Hunter Wright is third on the board. Third quickest for Hunter Wright. Keep your eye on car number 29 as it shuts down on the back straightaway. Unreal. Hunter Wright, one of these days, the luck is going to go his way, but we'll take that third place run. Now they'll take a look at the machine, make sure it's okay. Maybe he didn't like his one and two. Just, just, but he is third quick. And I believe we are to our final qualifier. In car number 18, so one final driver to try to knock Brody Monahan off the top of the pylon. Mike Scorzelli in car number 18 out of Fairbush, New York, will be our final qualifier. In the 18th, a respectable run for the 18 car, sponsored by Studio 1187 and Syracuse Utilities. In the time to beat 14 year old Brody Monahan's lap of 18.422 seconds. Scorzelli coming off the turn number four will clock in for the first time here. It is an 18965. Not a bad lap there for the 18. That puts him 20th on the board. He's going to need to pick up about half a second if he's going to go to the top of the board. So crazier things have happened, but we haven't seen that much pickup in the track here all qualifying session. Checkers. An 18.820, so a nice pickup there for the 18. Let's see where that puts him. 15th for Mike Scorzelli. That means unofficially Brody Monahan will be our fast qualifier here for the Pro Late models. Ryan Luza will qualify in the second spot in car 08. Hunter Wright, third. Isabella Robusto, fourth quickest. Dawson Sutton in fifth. Jimmy Renfrew qualifies in the sixth position. Seventh for RJ Braun. Eighth for Nicholas Noddle. Tony Bradinger is ninth, and Katie Hettinger qualifies in the 10th position. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now.